earlier you mentioned witches, which is one of the early stories in yeah. the in the collection. Have you ever seen yourself as like any of those characters? Have you been interested in that kind yeah. of witchiness? Where where's that? Tell me about that fascination. Oh my god, it comes directly from this era of my life. And my my friend Izzy, who's a c- comedian as well, she had the same thing. Where as a teenager, we were obsessed with Ouija boards. We'd seen the film The Cult. Uh, the Cult? No, we've seen the film The Craft, the most incredible film for like. And it, I guess it does put me at a very specific age, but I feel like. Any particularly woman between about 39 and 45 is going to be like this film. This is the most incredible film. Because it was about like teenage girls who were very powerful, who did cool shit. And then it had the Smiths on it. So it was like... And we were obsessed with it. And what we used to do is we used to um, buy this thing called Old Moore's Almanac. Which like, I don't even know what it was. But you could buy it from the newsagent. And at the back, it had loads of like PO boxes for places you could write off to. Um, and they would send you like pamphlets that were like how to make anyone fall in love with you telepathically, <laughs> how to exercise mind control on anyone on earth. And like, I guess they must have been for 13 year olds because like, I don't feel like as an adult I would fall for that. <laughs> but like us, you'd have to send a check in the post for 99 pence to this place and then wait for weeks and then it would arrive and one of you would be like, oh, we've got it, we've got the ability to control anyone's minds. And then you'd have to like do these spells. We used to do loads of spells and a lot of Lots of it was just like, uh, like absolute nonsense that one of us had made up. Yeah, it's weird that you like we were so into that phase, and then we were just out of it. Like it's not like now I'd be like, should we do a Ouija board? Although I feel like maybe I should, because like it was good times. There was one other kind of thing that I, I don't, I could be completely wrong, but I got the sense that you, you like cats, Ooh, or you write really well about people who like cats. Which is it? Well, I do like cats, but I wouldn't say it's like a big part of my life. So, um, yeah, you're welcome. I, just <laughs> get it, I get it. No, I do love cats. I don't have any, though. But we're getting a, a hamster. Are you? Yeah. It's going to be so, in a month. We're all so excited. <laughs> That's very exciting. I'd love to get a cat, but I suppose once you've got the hamster, you can't get the cat. Can you? Well, the hamster would this, feel very stressed. This is very, very niche, um, but I count a follow on Instagram. Uh, they breed cats, they also breed hamsters, hamsters and cats, and they seem to get on fine. Don't know how it works. They anyway. get on fine. <laughs> they seem to get on fine. Maybe they just bring them up alongside each other. Yeah. Because often, like, a lion would be friends with a goat or whatever. Yeah, if it, if they were babies together. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's <laughs> I wish that I, I do really love, like, you know, the friendships of animals where you think, they can't. How? Yeah. What have they even got to talk about? You know, yeah. <laughs> and their yeah. best friends. Oh, I'm great. really chuffed that you would say that about cats. That just makes me feel good about like a bit of the writing I hadn't examined. 